Time out. Play ball. And it's a bouncing ball to third. Nice backhanded play. Cabrera shoots him down. We've got baseball coming up now north of the border. It's the Rays and Blue Jays. Next.
We are in downtown Toronto at Rogers Center, getting you set for this edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight in high definition, it's an exhibition matchup between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. Hello again, everybody. Welcome into Jays Baseball on the Show. Matt Vaskersian here. I'm joined in the booth by longtime big leaguers Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. Before we get to them, let's take a look here at the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. As Joe Madden will line them up like this. Set to go to work against these guys. There are the numbers for the National League's Cy Young winner a season ago, 20-game winner R.A. Dickey. Desmond Jennings makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory now toward the third base dugout. Aaron Sebia is there and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. So Dickey able to retire the first man to greet him here and with that Let's give you a look at the defensive alignment for the Blue Jays. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Yunel Escobar stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Foul back. One out, nobody on. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Big swing and a miss at the knuckler, and now there are two gone. Well, nothing wrong with a pop out and a strikeout when you're out on the mound. And he's saying, I'll take this all game long. Evan Longoria will stand in for the first time here. Evan Longoria. Pitch on the way. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Tried to wait out the knuckleball, but it's in there, two and two. And even though it's still the first inning, you can already tell. He's going to be a force out there on the mound. He's got that glare in his eyes. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. Here he's right on this pitch and he smokes it in the left field for a solid single. Luke Scott will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. Now the first pitch. Swing and a miss on the first pitch. Knuckler strike one. Lifted in the air out to right. Bautista is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One hit, one left. Tampa Bay nothing. Blue Jays do up next. Major League Baseball is on the show. Starting lineup for the Blue Jays here looks like this. And to 
Defensively, the Rays will look like this behind him. Right back to work as the shortstop, Jose Reyes, digs in to lead off the bottom of inning number one. First pitch of the inning here is wrapped right back from where it came, and that'll get into center field for a leadoff single. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first, and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Melky Cabrera will stand in. He, of course, the most valuable player in last summer's All-Star game. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. swing and he pops him up right up the chute this may be tough behind the plate and Molina will watch this one in for the first out yeah very tough to get on top of a fastball at 96 and even if you miss it by an inch or two you know this is what the result will be an easy pop-up Jose Bautista will stand in starting right fielder on last year's American League All-Star squad center field fold is there two gone Edwin Encarnacion will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first Oh, and this fastball is absolutely grooved as it is belted to deep left center field. Does he have enough to get out of here? Yes, a home run! So a two-run home run for Edwin Encarnacion as the Blue Jays take a 2 to nothing advantage. Colby Rasmus will get his first opportunity now with two away and the base is empty here in the home half of the first. Now a fastball and he might have gotten under it just a bit as this is out toward deep right field. Joyce will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Jays strike for a couple as you get another look at the two-run dinger. Second inning coming up. It's now 2 nothing Blue Jays. Ben Zobrist leads things off now in the top half of the second. Ben Zobrist. And this is heading for the seats and out of play to the left. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. And, and now on 0-2, I think you got to be wary of that changeup. This is where he likes to throw it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Well, I think no question contact is going to be the key for these hitters moving forward, especially because you're facing a guy out there that struck out as many as 13 in one of his starts last year. So he can definitely make guys swing and miss out there. Matt Joyce will dig in here. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Oh, a very hittable pitch, too. That's a middle-of-the-plate fastball, and he's not going to get away with too many of those tonight. 
I think I'd take that one too. It's 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Pretty stress-free inning so far. Two batters, six pitches, and two strikeouts. James Loney will stand in here, looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Fastball in there for a called strike. Ah, changed up on him here, but this is lined into left field for a base hit. And, you know, I think the Rays are going to like having Loney as their first baseman this year. He gets to shed that big market spotlight that he had in both L.A. and Boston. And now all he has to do is just focus on delivering at bats like this one right here. Sam Fold will get his first cuts here with two gone now and a runner at first. First pitch of the at-bat is lifted in the air out to left. There is Cabrera as he takes this one in, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom of the second. The Blue Jays on top, two to nothing. Brett Lowry will start it out for Toronto with Adam Lynn to follow. Now the first pitch here from Price. Oh, and he gets the fastball on the first pitch and shoots it into center field for a leadoff single. Yeah, the first inning was no picnic, and now he's already in trouble again here in the second. He hadn't looked all that sharp so far, and he's in danger of really putting his guys behind the eight ball early. Adam Lind will stand in. This is into right field for another base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. And now after the two run first, you've got two on and nobody out here to start the second. Things are not off to the smoothest of starts, that's for sure. J.P. Aaron Sibia steps in now. In the air to center. Fold is there, and he has it for the first out. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. Emilio Bonifacio will step in now. Switch hitter batting from the right side here. Now here's a swing and a ball hit well out there toward right center. Joyce is there and that should be deep enough to score the run. And the throw in gets away from him. Jose Reyes will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground toward second. Throw on Deloney will take care of him at first, and the side is retired. A run on two hits here for Toronto. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Blue Jays three, the Rays nothing. Jose Molina ready to go here as we begin the third. Jose Molina. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And the 
Molina swings and misses. He's in trouble now behind 0-2. Yeah, he was out front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now, 0-2, you can't be guessing anymore. you got to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Here's a close-up of how he grips that knuckleball. You can see it's not really his knuckles that grip the ball, but rather his fingernails that really dig into the seams. That's such a tough pitch to throw and even more difficult to master. Desmond Jennings will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Late on the changeup, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And the Rays are on the board. It's now a 3-1 to one ball game. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring in the shortstop, Yunel Escobar. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And Escobar swings right through that one as he falls behind here. No balls and two strikes. Swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. That's the way you want to see guys respond after giving up a home run. You know, some guys, they go into a shell, they hang their heads. Some guys get a little gun shy, they start to nibble at the corners. This guy, he gets teed off, and he comes right after the next guy in the lineup. If I'm a pitching coach, that's what I want to see. Evan Longoria will dig in. He singled his first time around. And here's the first pitch. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Jeez, finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. About time, boys. Fouled back. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. You know, it's just the third inning, but you can already tell. So far, he's wearing out that inside corner. He doesn't want these guys to get too extended, and it's worked out for him so far. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And this is hit sharply toward the third base coaching box, a foul ball. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, you know, this game kind of felt like it could have been played back in 1968. Very well played, very low scoring, very quick game, too. I'll tell you, I could go for a few more of these this year. That'd be okay by me.
this one. Definitely a low scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. the Jays were led on the offensive side of the scorecard by this man, Edwin Encarnacion. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he only had one hit, but definitely made it. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB 13 The Show. For more, find us online at theshownation.com. The Blue Jays come out on top 3-1. to one. Good night from Toronto.